Hey guys, Kirby Wiggum here, back in for another video and today I'm going to be showing you some tips on how to build. Now, I am in creative mode only for one reason. Of course, infinite building. I've been practicing a little bit more building. Now, honestly, you're going to want to start with Builder Pro. That's the main reason why I'm making this video. Because Builder Pro is so much better than Combat Pro. Now, of course, it's going to take a while to get used to. Like, maybe you'll be building like this soon. But soon you can turn into that. And, yeah, just use Builder Pro, get high sensitivity. You can look up your sensitivity. I just straight up went to 100 on mine. And it's just started doing that. And, of course, get your editing right. As you can see, I could do that really fast. And, of course, we can get that. Okay. I do this. Boom. You have to, to try that a bunch. Practice um for all all the things. You know, practice. It makes perfect. But I'm gonna you're making that more than in I can't do I'm gonna be making just the just um this regular old thing here. Just real quick. I noticed that you get more nervous with other buildings around you, so try with out out buildings around you, then go up. Yeah, this is just um, teaching on how to build. Another thing you're going to work on is doing this. Just in case someone's trying to shoot you out going up. Very good. See, sometimes I'm still even messing up, but once you get it right... It does take a lot of practice. can also use this while going up to a build fight blocking them from doing the triangle to you it's a little trick I accidentally made the lower one but basically what the trick would be is they trap you like that now basically now since it's yours you can just edit it through yeah just practice that messed up a little bit there now that's the barrier to this. Yeah, of course, um, just practice doing a bunch of stuff. Um, of course, one of the main things you're gonna want to practice on is your one by ones. Um, this is really important getting your one by ones right. Not only can it increase your building speed, it can also get you better at build battles in some way. And you can practice editing out. You can practice the stairs. I'm going to show you the type of stairs that you should be practicing. Alright. So this is how it should go. You should practice your double ramps first. Pretty much basic ones. And then you're going to want to start doing it with the wall. Still pretty easy. Then you're going to want to progress to this. And then the final one that I can even think of is, you'll see. Okay, I still need practice on that though. Anyway, once we reach my next height, look at um, what it does. Puts one under it. You're gonna want to practice those. Um, you're gonna want to practice on shooting guns a little bit. This is like a little basic one, but I 
You can practice that a little bit. Of course, practice your sniping. I suggest getting these three things when you're practicing sniping. And so the three things that you're going to want to practice on is practicing sniping as heavy assault rifle for something that you're not really going to be using that often when sniping. Sometimes a scope type of deal. I suggest um, something like a scope assault rifle, thermal scope for advanced. Then, then next you'll want to try out something like the hunting rifle. And then finally, you'll want to practice with this. You know, the difference with all of them is that all of them are unique. I prefer, I prefer, um, it's highly suggest that you use this. You can also use this as, um, just a heavy fire weapon as well. I suggest using it as a sniper. Yeah, try getting, like, a friend or something to move around or something. Yeah, you can definitely see the difference in all of them. Okay. Of course, hunting rifle. Yeah, just try... Here, I'll show you. Just try, um... Breaking trees with hunting rifle. So you can get better pretty quickly. It's pretty easy to get used to hunting rifle. Hunting rifle is like the easiest real sniper, in my opinion. You can still go for no scope with it as well. Like, see? Keep you in a tight situation and it's your only weapon. You can go for some no scope. For a regular sniper, you, you should not go for no scope. But for this, yeah, it can. Oh, create that thing. Oh, yeah, another thing you can practice is, of course, when you're going down, you get trash. I think I hit that one. Hang on. You can use this, use this tactic for saying what type of weapon right you should use for fall in case you're trying to build a sky base. In fact, I've actually never done a sky base, I might do one soon. I really like my hunting rifles, then of course an actual scoped. I suggest trying getting some quick scopes in. You know, in fact, I'm gonna break that wall right there. Nope. I'm gonna try to break that wall. And also try to crack in the middle of it. Well, of course, this is not a thing to no scope for. If you want to just break down buildings real quick, go on ahead. You can try, try just breaking down the building. Oop, I like doing that strategy a lot. Thank you guys for watching. Um, this wasn't mainly on shooting, it was mainly on the building and editing skills. Mm. Yeah, just hop on to career mode or player mode, try practicing this stuff a little, and you'll get much better in no time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.